A drain solenoid is a component used on select dishwashers to open a drain valve to remove the water from the tank during the drain cycle. If you find water pooling near the front of the dishwasher tank after the drain and drying cycles have completed, the drain solenoid may be obstructed or defective. The drain solenoid can be tested for continuity to help determine if the component is working properly. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the solenoid. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the component is faulty. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform a continuity test. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the leads together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Depending on the model, you may be able to access the drain solenoid after removing the lower access panel or panels. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Unthread the screws or detach the fasteners so you can remove the dishwasher's lower access panel or panels. If you are unable to reach the drain solenoid, you will probably need to uninstall the dishwasher. To do this, unthread the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Unthread the wire nuts to detach the power wires and release the grounding wire as well. Unthread the power cord strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to raise the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the dishwasher onto its back panel if necessary. To uninstall the solenoid, disconnect the solenoid wire harness and the return spring. Detach the E-clip and lift off the actuator lever as applicable. Next, unthread the screw or screws to fully release the solenoid. Now contact the black meter lead to one of the solenoid terminals and the red lead to the other terminal. The meter display should indicate 15 to 40 ohms of resistance if the solenoid has electrical continuity. However, if the meter display shows little or no change, then the solenoid has no electrical continuity and the part will need to be replaced. With the plunger inserted, reinstall or replace the drain solenoid by aligning the assembly on the pump housing and replace the screw or screws to secure.
Insert the plunger arm into the actuator lever as you align the lever on the drain shaft. Replace the E-clip to secure, if necessary. Now attach one end of the solenoid return spring to the actuator lever and the other end to the tab on the mounting bracket. Connect the wire harness to the terminals on the solenoid. If applicable, return the appliance to its upright position. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the power cord in the junction box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Join the appropriate power wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Reposition the lower access panel or panels and secure the screws or fasteners. With the dishwasher fully reinstalled, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power.